So I got myself a scrap box. I haven't had one for ages and I thought it was time to give one a go. I think these are great fun. I know that sometimes they're full of rubbish, um, but sometimes you get something worthwhile. So I'm literally going to start at the beginning and show you and hope that we can all have some laughs together about this. Now, this is the very first piece that I'm taking out of the box. Uh, what can you say? I'm kind of speechless. Next, I've got um, a nice piece of fleece, got a good bit of stretch, bit of give the other way, and that is, I'm going in inches, I'm afraid, it's 18 inches by, uh, that's 44, and so that's 66 wide. So that, yeah, that's lovely and it'll be extremely useful. So I can't complain about that. I can't complain about the first one because it made me laugh. And then here's another piece of fleece, which has got, oh, they're cute. It's got tractors on it. How lovely is that? Again, we've got a stretch across and give from top to bottom. Um, that's absolutely brilliant. Again, it's full width of fabric and it is, I should have turned my mat over so I got centimetres. That's 22, so, six, 36 inches. So that's about a metre, isn't it? So that's fabulous, love that. And next I have some brown, looks like cotton. Let's set fire to it and see what happens, just for fun. I love a good fire. Yeah, I'd say that's cotton because it hasn't melted and it's a, a fair size piece it's width of fabric and about 24 inches next I've got some shiny stuff um, those who know me know I don't really like shiny stuff so that's going to go in my throwing away box but it's width of fabric and 17 inches so it'd be lovely for somebody else it's just not for me and there's some turquoise shiny stuff as well which again is lovely width of fabric uh, 20 inches and that's going in my going away pile Um, what have we got here? I think this is two pieces of pink cotton. Yep, I would say that's cotton because there's no melting there. And they are both... I don't know if they're the width of fabric or not. They don't look it. Um, 17 inches and 11 inches but useful pieces those are very useful and I'm very happy with those nice colour as well and next we have a llama bandage which is Barely three inches, so probably not much use for anything. So that can go in my giveaway box. I've already bought the llama fabric and a jungle bandage. And the jungle bandage is four inches. So I will keep that because I can use it to make face wipes. 
so that is a useful size even though it's small it's still useful and one of these you know an an absolute scrap that again is going to go in my throwing away box it's no use at all somebody may be able to use it for stuffing or something um, little piece of chiffon I would say just a few inches so again somebody who is doing dolly clothes might find that useful but it's not something I would use so that's going in that pile I have a blue llama bandage which will go in that pile as well because it's no use to me but people use things that I don't use this no idea what this is it feels like it might be wool a little bit of give it's stretchy that way it is width of fabric it's about six inches and again dolly clothes will be fine I'm not going to keep it because although I might use it I probably won't and wrapped up and it was something that looks like lamb's wool but again it's a bandage so no use to me um, very small piece of again it's cotton um, I could potentially use it as face wipes. I generally use patterned fabric for face wipes. But I think because it's only a I could use it, I'm going to put it in the giving away pile. To be honest, I think half of my joy is finding stuff to give to somebody else. Um, I don't know. I think that's calico. Again, a tiny bandage. No use to me. But fine for somebody else. And that is a strip of ripstop. What a lovely colour. I can't imagine what I'd do with it, so that's in my donation pile. Oh, nice. Lovely bright sunny yellow. Cotton. Very happy to have that with the fabric and 23 inches. So that would be a really useful piece. Love that bright yellow. Uh, a smidge of the brown slithery stuff that I won't use. That is another little bandage of cotton, which is too small for me, but that's fine. This is a little piece of, I don't know if it's chiffon or georgette, because I still haven't worked out how you tell them apart. But um, it's got yellow writing on it. So again, somebody can use it for a scrap venture and this is cute a little bit of um, needle cord it is very very cute it's nice to see that and see the quality of it because although I won't use that it's nice to know what it's like and it seems to be very good quality so if anybody's contemplating buying that, I'd say yes, go ahead. It's, it's a good piece of fabric. I've got some big shiny stuff. Wouldn't this make a sexy nighty? Um, it, that is a big chunk. So again, I'm sure somebody would be thrilled with that. It's just not my cup of tea. Anybody who made 
fancy undies would love it. And there's a, a uh, green satiny shiny bandage here for somebody else. It looks like I'm giving most of this away but I don't really mind that. I quite enjoy the uh, pleasure of opening the box and seeing what's going. I don't know what this is. Ah, now that one is polycotton and if you don't know this you see how it burns and then you're left with little balls on the end which you can't really see let me just try that I don't know if you can see the little balls on the end or not but that's how you tell the difference if you didn't know and it it smells chemically as well. I don't really use polycotton, so that will go to somebody else who I'm sure will love it because it's a nice big piece. There's another ripstop bandage in blue. And that would be... Oh, this has even got a label on it, which doesn't help. This is um, brushed cotton, a very tiny bandage of brushed cotton. More shiny stuff in a lovely shade of, sort of silvery grey, which will make someone very happy. That is uh, about 15 inches. Ooh, gold shiny stuff. Not an awful lot. About six inches or so. And again, there's an awful lot that people can do with this. So people who buy the scrap boxes to make dolly clothes, this would have been absolutely perfect for you. That's a piece of... I don't know what that is. Actually got no idea. That's the back. That's the front. I don't actually know what it is. It's got a sticky label and a load of writing on it. So somebody might find a use for it, but I won't. And that I think is linen. Again, it's not something that I think I want. It's the sort of thing that I might use, but I'm not going to take a chance on putting it anywhere because I do already have plenty of fabric, so that will be nice for somebody else. And it's about 20 inches, so they'll get something fairly decent out of that in the dolly department. This is such fun. More shiny stuff in white. This one is 15 inches. I have so much more in this box. I don't think I'll ever get to the end of it. Um, a chiffon bandage to make something for a dolly. About four or five inches, that one. Shiny blue. There's obviously a lot of the uh, shiny satiny stuff going out in this one. And this is 17 inches. A, a chiffon or georgette bandage. Another um, brush cotton bandage. A... Superior Poplin Broadcloth Polyester and Cotton. Another bandage. This is nice. I don't think I've had any of this. And having seen it, I might actually buy it. It's quite cute. 
it is more than four inches so I'll keep that for um, face wipes because it's cotton that's a little bit of chiffon that will go in my my thank you pile a very thin piece of cotton I would say yeah that's cotton it didn't I didn't manage to set fire to it I quite enjoy doing that uh, but too small for me another small piece of shiny in pink I love when they give you something like this I mean the thing is it is scraps and it is literally I would imagine they stand and they just lob stuff into the box and then when it's full they seal it up and then when they've got enough they put them on the website and you pay your money and takes your chance don't you another thin piece that one is Georgette I think so, oh, that might be polyester. Shall we set fire to it and see? I hope I don't burn my house down doing this. Yeah, that's polyester. It smells disgusting. Oh, look at this. That's a very regal purple satiny stuff. The, the um, this shiny stuff is in absolutely glorious colours. It really is lovely. It's just not something that I use. Another little bit of chiffony stuff. Um, burgundy. Let's see if you're cotton. Mm. Yeah, there's no bobbles. And there's no chemically smell, so I think that is cotton. So I shall hang on to that. And oh, look, that's what it is. It's that same one that I got the label on before Superior Poplin Broadcloth. So now I know what I've got there. And more superior poplin broadcloth, but in black. This isn't as shiny as the other stuff, but it's still slippery. So it's not something that I would use. It's quite thin. It is black and it's 20 inches. There's a place close by where I can hopefully pass this off and hopefully people will like it um, and they sell by the kilo or by 10 kilos or something so yeah, that would make a, a nice chiffon scarf it's just I wouldn't wear a chiffon scarf and I don't sell chiffon scarf so I'm just going to pop that in to be somebody else will make a chiffon scarf with it. This is a small piece of white cotton. I'm not even halfway through the box yet. There's a little piece of net there, a chiffon bandage, another chiffon bandage, a cotton bandage, that looks nice. I don't know if that's available on the website, but I would probably buy that if I saw it. It's nice, it's very pretty. Uh, another chiffon bandage, a... Uh, stretchy bandage quite lightweight chambray bandage that, that's got a little bit of give going across it it's, it's not a fabric I work with so I'm not going to keep it I'm too old to be starting to experimenting with fabrics 
This, I'm thinking, is polyester. If you can, where are we? Can you see the sort of bobble on there? That tells you it's polyester. This, I would be fairly certain, is um, cotton, and it's more than four inches, so that will make face wipes which is always good this is sort of denim effect cotton broadcloth this feels really nice if you're thinking of buying it if they've got it on the website I, I would say that it's worth getting this is a very useful piece of cotton lycra it's actually, I don't think you can see that there, but it's a nice, really dark bottle green. So that's a good one. There's another piece of cotton lycra, and this is in a sort of bluey grey. That's 18 inches, the other was about 18 inches as well. So they're both very useful. I've got another literally just says about what the fabric is. Those crack me up when you get those in there. Oh, lemons, that's lovely. Again, it's cotton poplin from what I can remember and it's wide enough to make face wipes, so that's joining me. This is pretty. It's too small for me to make anything, but it is pretty. I don't know, watch out for that on the website. Now what are you? You're too thin, but that's another bandage, but it's quite lightweight, so not the sort of thing I use very much. This is really pretty, and it is wide enough to make um, face wipes, but I just need to check what it's made of. Yeah, there's no bobble on the end of that, so that one will be cotton. So, keep that. Oh, look at this. How cute is that? So that piece of cotton there. And it is 17 inches. And funnily enough, I thought about buying some of this the other day. And then I didn't. So that is... A 100% cotton, so that's a, a great one. Uh, ah, oh, this is probably viscose. Little viscose um, bandage there. A tiny, tiny bandage of that. That's lovely fabric. I've already got some of that. Again, I can't remember what this sort of fabric is called. To be all honest, it feels like what I used to call brine nylon when I was young. And it's it feels a little bit weird to me. It's not my cup of tea. But you've got about uh, 14 inches there. So again, it's something that somebody would make a scarf with that, I think. And it would be absolutely lovely. I don't wear scarves. So it's no use to me. Now these are two seriously tiny pieces of green shiny. I think we might have an even tinier piece. Oh, look at this. How fabulous is that? That I think is probably cotton. Um, that's a beautiful, beautiful colour of shiny satiny stuff. I'm sure somebody will absolutely love that. And I think, yeah, there's another piece of that as well. Much smaller, but, you know, there's definitely knickers going on there. 
I've just bought some of this in the green. Um, I often steer clear of things with white backgrounds in case they're see-through, but actually I think this one will be okay to use. I quite like that. And I got 14 inches of that. So, yeah, that's great. I love that. Very pleased with it. You can never go wrong with spot. That's the cotton pop and stuff. Um, and again, it's wide enough to make face wipes. So that's going in that pile. I'm pleased to have that. This is... I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's linen. I don't buy linen, so I don't really know what it feels like. It, I love the colour. Wouldn't use it. Don't know what it's what it is, but there's 16 inches of it. Uh, a few more bandages coming out now. Don't know what that is. Little satin bandage. Another bit of black satiny stuff and another bit of black satiny stuff. A chiffon bandage. A little gingham bandage. That's very thin. I don't know what it's made of, but it's very thin. So I wouldn't buy that. Cute piece of needle cord. Nice. I might even make a little skirt or something for one of my granddaughters. That's 15 inches of that. That is really nice. Uh, this is... I forgot what it's called. Seersucker. No, it... The fabric itself is fine, but it's not for me. Another bandage and a brush cotton bandage, a chiffon bandage, another ripstop bandage, another piece of the um, Sucker, a golden satin bandage, and a golden satin, not even bandage length, width. Oh, there's another one of them. This is literally, this is very funny. Um, it's literally just a stitch line, two bits of fabric joined together, and it's just the stitch line down the middle, that's hilarious. Mm, don't know what that, that fabric is, but another bandage. Another bandage in a different sort of fabric to that. Another chiffon bandage. A pink satin bandage. That's as cute as anything. I think that's um, swimsuit stuff. If I were into swimsuits, I'd buy some of that. It's lovely, but it's not something I'm going to be using. This, I believe, is linen. Here we have another chiffon very small scarf if you wanted a, a narrow scarf. Is it chiffon or is it georgette? I don't know, it could be anything actually. I don't think it is chiffon because it's a bit thicker than what I think is chiffon. But I don't know what it is. A uh, tiny brown wool bandage. Or maybe a belt. Another bit of that white stuff. I think it's, it may be a cotton type of fabric, but I don't know what 
that's that one's me. Ooh. Oh, it smells horrible. There's no bubbles on that, but it really smells awful. Um, but I don't know what it is. Another fairly big piece of satiny stuff. In black, this is 20 odd inches. It's lovely, lovely quality. I just don't sew it. Shiny, satiny stuff. I think that's waterproof canvas. And whilst it's not very wide, I've got a pattern for something that uses waterproof canvas and actually only uses a very narrow strip. So I'm going to hang on to that. That is canvas in a sort of plum colour. It's 10 inches. I don't think I'm going to use it, so I think I will donate it because I think somebody else might use it. Here we have a cotton poplin bandage, which isn't four inches, so it's no use to me. This is nice. It feels, it's got the feel of canvas, but it's thin. It's not a very heavy weight if it is canvas, but I really like that, so I shall keep that. So that's 20 odd inches as well, and it is really pretty. This, I think, is chambray. Uh, again, it's not a a fabric that I work with so I'm going to let that go and there's another piece of it and they're both fairly big you could probably actually make a pair of shorts or something out of those by combining the two pieces love this don't know what it is it's got a hole in the middle of it I don't know if it's chambray as well, it looks like it might be. I actually really like that. I don't know whether to hang on to it because I might use it or let it go because I probably won't. And I think... I think that's an undecided. I don't usually have undecided, I usually make my mind up really quickly. A uh, little pink bandage. Um, a narrow piece of cotton lycra that it's in olive green I'm not going to keep it because I've got plenty I don't need it somebody else might use it that is a small piece of bottle green um, ripstock which is nine inches wide and could potentially be used in a small drawstring bag so I'm going to keep that. This is another bandage of some instrument fabric, I don't know what it is. This is, oh, now that is completely black on the back and it's like that on the front. It's very stretchy, but not this way. There's nothing in that way, but it's really stretchy across the fabric. I really have no idea what that fabric is. It's stunning looking. If that came in cotton, I would be buying that because I love it, but it's not big enough for me to do anything with, so that's going there. I've got some daisies in a piece of fabric that is actually big enough for me to make something with them. That's 10 inches of fabric, so I will hang on to those. I'm assuming it's cotton, it's got a tiny hole in it. Let me just check that it is cotton. 
here. Yep, you're staying because you're cotton. I'm thoroughly enjoying setting fabric in all this fabric. Is that weird? Here's another black bandage. And uh, that's a small piece of black cotton, which 100% cotton, it's got a label on it. I'll keep it because I'll be able to cut bits out of that and use it. Um, this, I think, is linen, or it, yeah, I think that's linen, but I'm not sure, so that I don't want. Um, this is, it's got a label on it telling me that it's 100% cotton. It's not huge, but I can get something out of that, so I shall keep that. I wouldn't use this. I work in a school and I just wouldn't use that. I've got a few inches of navy llama. I actually bought this myself last week. So it's nice to have a little bit more. So that's about, yep, yeah, that's 14 inches. So a good size piece. Uh, I've always loved this fabric. Um, it's nearly six inches, so again, I can use that. I shall hang on to it. A little bit more of the jungle fabric, and probably about five inches, so I can use that. There's a nice sparkly bandage. No use to me, but it, it is pretty and sparkly. This is one of my favourite fabrics ever. I must have bought this half a dozen times. And I think it's all finished now. I might be wrong. But uh, it's too small really for me, so that can go. There's another bit of that fox's which is more than four inches, so I shall hang on to it. It's a rose and hubble fabric. Very, very good quality. I love the rose and hubble fabrics. This is um, needle cord again. Um, I'll have to check with my daughter if she'd like that for one of the girls to have a skirt. I think it's rather nice. And there's... 14 inches, so it's enough to make a skirt for a little girl. So I shall hang on to that. Uh, tiny piece of green foxes. It is actually... It is four inches wide, so I'm going to hang on to it. Because I really like it. This looked like a sock in the bottom of the bag. And it is... Um, it may be cuffing or it may just be the um, t-shirt fabric but it's a, it's a circle you know, it's a, it's a ready made snood actually it's just to stick that over your head and it will keep your neck nice and warm shall I keep that or pass it on? I don't know, I'm going to put it with that leafy fabric there a uh, small piece of chambray. Oh, this is funny. An even smaller piece of chambray. This I have bought before. Uh, it was really good value because it's exceptionally wide fabric and it, it's actually really good quality. So I'm going to hang on to that. That's uh, 14 inches, so very usable. Some little pieces of spot. Again, they're more than four inches, 
so I will hang on to them. It's some more um, very small pieces of chiffon fabric. Another piece of spot here in a different colour, which again I'll keep. You can't see it on my shelves up there, but I do have quite a lot of the spot already. This is one that I've never actually bought and I haven't seen it before. Um, and actually it's really quite cute. I can't remember what the fabric is called. So I don't know if that's suitable for um, face wipes, but it's so cute I'm going to hang on to it. I have another piece of stitching and then a really huge piece of something here. I am getting there. I can see the bottom of the box now. A very small bandage of um, camo fabric. Now, I don't think I've bought that one because I think that was the one that was really cheap and I thought it didn't look to be particularly good quality, but actually it doesn't look that bad. So that's worth seeing that. I'm glad that it was some of that in there. And this is another fabric that I'd seen and hadn't bought. Got the bandage of that, it's nice. I don't think I would buy it a piece because the fab the design on it isn't really my thing. Uh, another little bandage of something or other. That's dead cute. It's a, an odd sort of shape piece. It's not really any use to me but it is very nice. It's thin though so I probably wouldn't ever buy that. Um, Another piece of spot in a different one. This is, um, I think that's cotton poplin, but I'll keep that because it's nice. This is very pretty. I think this is probably one of the cottons or cotton poplins as well. Uh, yeah, it's a rose and hubble. And there's quite a bit in there, so I can use that. That's a nice one to add to my collection. A bit more crumpled up chambray. It's not a bad size piece, but again, not something I'm going to use. Um, this isn't, I don't think that's quite four inches and it's quite thin as well, so I won't keep that. I would say from this box, I'm probably keeping about half of it. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, another little black bandage. Another piece of chickens, which I, I said earlier, I like that. I haven't had it before. Ooh. And some grey seagulls. Again, enough of that for me to make um, face wipes with, which is always useful. Another piece of that tubular stretch stuff in royal blue. So again, not haven't made my mind up, but that's actually quite a long piece. That's 20 inches. So again, useful, but not sure that I need it and somebody else might need it. This is very thin, you can see through it, so it's not something I would hang on to. It's a not bad size piece. This is lovely. And cotton or cotton poplin, I would imagine. And 17 inches. The box has just fallen on the floor, got the rest of the things in it. Um, uh, that 
is, oh, I can never remember what it's called, double gauze, I think that is. It's a very small piece, so it's not any use for me. I've got some cotton poplin sunflowers, which are very cute, and I'm going to keep that, it's nice. And I've got another piece of that, but it's really only bandage size, so I won't bother with that. I've got another bandage of a different, um, I think that's chambray again as well. I've got, it looks very much like a tablecloth. I don't know if you can see that this has actually got a, a pattern to, built into it. I really must master the skills of videoing properly because I'm pretty rubbish at it. But this is a big piece. That's Um, that's 66 inches it is it's lovely but it's not something I'm going to use I can't imagine a use for it and it, I don't think if somebody made themselves a tablecloth with that they'd be really pleased with it I'm nearly there now um Another little piece of floral stuff. Not sure if it's wide enough for me. Yeah, yeah, I've got four inches there, so we have that. A piece of stripy stuff that looks like they used the stuff they used to make pillows with. It's very narrow, so I won't keep it. And then I've got some Halloweeny. Stuff, which is very cute so I think I'll hang on to that and that is the end of the box so this is what I'm keeping so it's a nice big pile there and I'm gonna my iPad up. Okay. You see, that's that's what I'm going to pass on to somebody else. And I thoroughly enjoyed opening this. I hope you've enjoyed watching me opening it. There's a picture of some of my fabric on shelves, which I thought might interest you. Sorry, I'm a little bit untidy at the moment, but here's my other I don't actually know what's showing in the um, camera, but there's my sewing machines all lined up and behaving themselves. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'm going to say goodbye.